Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial. Today it's on Cube Runner. So this is a really fun mini game where you run around a cube and there are blocks falling all around you and you have to dodge them. Obviously the one person left alive is the winner. So uh, you can play this on your own, you can play it with lots of people and we are going to set it up and have a quick game. So first of all, let's look at the commands. If you do CR help all, that will show you all of the commands. There are different sections of the uh, help. There is obviously the general section, game section, arena, admin and all section. So uh, first of all let's go ahead and make a brand new arena. Uh, let's just fly into the lobby here and these are all the join signs and stat signs and whatnot. So if we do CR new and call it something, let's call it YT and that will create our brand new arena. Once you've done that you can set the lobby for the arena. So set lobby uh, YT. There we go. And now we need to select um, the arena. So it needs to be a cuboid. Uh, something tall like this will do. Um, and do that with world edit. So make sure you have your wooden axe. Once you've done that, you can fly into it and uh, set your start point. So CR set start point for the arena YT. And we also need to set the zone, which is uh, <clears throat> what we just selected. There we go. So there's a couple more things we need to do. So we, we can actually change the color of the blocks that fall. So if we do CR set color for YT, spelt the American way, you can see that uh, at the moment there is only one block that is enchanted. All of the blocks that are enchanted are the ones that are being enabled. So we can click off that and select the ones we want. So let's go with uh, maybe some blues and greens. That will be nice. So green there and let's select another blue. There we go. One more green. There we go. So you can select as many as you want and exit out of that. Then we can do CR set min player for the arena YT to maybe one and the maximum players to five or something. I don't know. Something along those lines. So that is how you set up an arena. Very, very easy. And I'll show you how to do the signs. Uh, I'll just pop them on this wall. So CR on the top line, join on the second line and the arena name on the the third line. So there are two types of join signs. There's the join sign which we just created that teleports you straight to the arena and there is the play sign which uh, doesn't. So uh, those are the two different types. There is also the top sign for each arena. So top for YT. There is the stat sign like that. There is the start sign. Let's quickly do that. CR start and finally there is the quit sign. Obviously you wouldn't want all of these in your lobby because some would want to be in the arena but uh, let me just pop that in there quit there we go so those are the six signs very easy and let's have a game so um, go ahead and right click either of these obviously we can see my best score earlier was 30 if we look at the stat sign it opens up a GUI and you can see the average score per game distance ran games played and all of these cool things which is really cool so um, that is everything. Let's have a go. So as you can see, my XP bar is going down. It's counting down from 15 seconds. There's a cool scoreboard on the right. And in front of me pops up um, 5 seconds, 4 seconds. And then if we look above me, we will see blocks falling down and I have to run away. So uh, it's a very fast paced minigame. It doesn't last too long, which is good. So if you're maybe going out in 20 minutes, you can have a few games of this. Uh, really fun. We run around some more, and uh, blocks are still running around my head. So uh, obviously, if I get hit, I will lose the game, and we will um, be teleported back here. So let's have a go at the new arena. So here we are in the new arena that I created. It should be blue and green blocks, and if we look above me, yes, yes, it is. So it's a really awesome mini game. We are going to have a quick look in the config files. Um, before the end of the video and obviously it is free to download off Spigot and that is everything in game now that I've died so there we go haven't beaten my top score but there we go so uh, yeah that's how it works if I rejoin it will obviously clear the map so uh, it's completely clear let's go ahead and look at the uh, config files now so here we are in the cube runner folder and as you can see 
there are three language files, which is very useful, and we have the other YML files. So we have the two files at the bottom which store data, you don't really need to edit those. We have another one that stores arena data, if we have a look at this, it will store everything that we set about the um, arenas, such as the world, the coordinates, minimax players, and obviously who has the highest score, which is obviously me. So let's look at the achievements file. And in here we have um, a pretty cool system. So when you get a certain amount of uh, score, games played, kills or games won, you will get a monetary re reward only if um, something is set to true in the config file. So those are the rewards that you can get. If we go into the config file, I will show you what you need to edit. So this needs to be true in order to get rewards for achievements. So uh, that is very cool. So uh, players can actually earn money by doing this, which is a great way to earn money rather than chopping down trees or whatnot, and how much you get per score. So uh, 0.05, that's not very much, but you could increase that or decrease it depending on your server's economy, and you can obviously enable and disable achievement rewards. So yeah, that is very, very cool that you can do that. And you can also add commands that uh, are executed when the uh, game is over. So uh, if you get rid of the hashtag or pound sign, the commands will work as it will read it and it will set the weather to clear. It will tell you uh, the arena is finished. It will send everyone to the hub and it will give the winner apples. So that is very cool. Up at the top, we have the countdown time auto start. That's very cool. You can set up a MySQL database, what language you use and whether there's a prefix. So that is everything. It's very easy to set up, it's very easy to use, and it's a lot of fun to play. And it's also free, as I mentioned in the beginning. So subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.